channel so if you want to see how I got this Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look then please continue watching as you'll see that there was a bit of a frustration going on when I applied the eyeshadows but we finally managed to make it work and hopefully you'll watch it I've already sprayed my face with my body shop facial spray so I'm gonna go with my Nivea crochet balm Next, I'm going to go with my Smashbox Pore Minimising Primer just to go mainly where my pores are a little bit on my nose. Next, it's the Revolution Ultra Strobe Cream and this will just go on the highest points of my face which is like my cheekbones and my temple. So now that my base is all prepped, I'm going to go in with my two foundations. So I've got the Maybelline Superstay in the shade, I don't know. Um, and then the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 330. And then I've also got my L'Oreal Facial Oil. I'm just going to drop two drops of that in to the foundation. I'm going to blend that in with my Real Technique, so I think this is the buffer brush, what they do. And I like, when I use an oil in my foundation, I like to blend in with a brush. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows using the Revolution Pro Brow Palmade in the shade Ebony, which is like a dark brown colour. I'm going to brush my eyebrows with a spoolie first and then go in with the eyebrow brush to fill those in. Ta-da! Brows done! So I'm going to go in now and do my concealer. So I'm going to colour correct it first using the MAC Prep and Prime in the shade Peach Luster. And this will just help to cancel out any darkness under there. I've not got a lot anymore. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 30. And again, this has got that peachy undertone, so that's going to go straight into the inner corner area. And then for the rest, I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in, I think this is the Neutralizer one. I'm going to apply this everywhere else to highlight. And before I blend it out, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick in the shade for, sorry, F14. I'm going to put this down for my cream bronze and contour and then I'll blend out my concealer with a beauty sponge so before I go in and blend out the cream contour I'm going to set straight under my eyes because I do have fine lines and I don't want them to crease so I'll do that in a bit and I'm going to use the collections Loose translucent powder. So I'm going to apply the powder on with a brush, and this is my Real Technique setting brush. So I'll take a little bit onto the cap, make sure it's worked straight into the brush. I'll go in with the sponge, making sure there's no creases because I don't want to set any. I'm going to just flip my beauty blender over just a little bit just so the powder's not sitting on top of the skin. To blend the contour I'm going to go with my foundation brush because this makes it really easy.
I'm going to go in back in with my beauty blender just to make sure that the, the um, bronzer hasn't gone too much into my highlighted areas and just to further blend everything in because you can see this bit here it's gone a bit too much into a cheek where I'd like that to be lighter and then straight under my jawline I'm just going to pat down there just to get I'm just quickly going to dust over with powder where we applied concealer you want to make sure that you're patting the powder on first instead of swiping it everywhere because otherwise you'll disrupt the makeup brush underneath so when you think that's covered you can then go in and swipe the excess powder away now i'm using a brush rather than baking because i don't want my skin to look very dry and by using a brush it just gives a lighter application i am going to put extra powder on the bake our side of my nose too yeah is shade of skin I'm now going to bronze and contour my face with the Revolution Contour HD Contour Powder. I'm going with this darker shade here. We're going to apply this where you've applied the cream contour, so you want to set it all down. I'm just going to pinch my brush and go under my lower lip and then contour my nose. This is the Make a Revolution contour brush as well. So before I apply my shimmer bronzer, I want to go and bake the sides of the nose. And then for the shimmer and bronzer, again using the Makeup Revolution's Vivid Baked Bronzer. And this is in the shade Rock on Weld. Now again, I'm just going to bake under my cheekbones. So while that's cooking away, I'm just going to prime my lid with the MAC um, paint pot in the shade Lay and Low. And I'm using a Sigma concealer brush and this is the F75. And I'm also going to clean up my brows as well by doing this. I've just dusted all the powder off and obviously I've done my priming on my eyelids and then whatever I had left over on my brush I just patted that over just to set the base down a little because I'm not doing a lot on the eyes anyway. So I'm just going to spray my face again with my Body Shop Mist. So while that's still semi wet I'm going to go in with my highlighter and today I want to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood one, which is this. And I'm going to pick that up on a more, not a Morphe, a Real Technique setting brush. And I'm first just going to pat the colour on to the highest point of my cheek. Do the other side and then I'll go in with the tip of the brush to blend it in. So I like to apply the product on the flattest side of the brush and then blend it in with the tip of the brush. I can see my neighbours from across the road looking in because obviously they can tell blatantly that there's this light shining, like a ring light. And it does make me feel a bit awkward. But then again, it's my house. I shall do what I want in it. That's why I want to um, get some netting up on my window so people can't see as much. But let me tell you, people are very nosy. So I'm just applying this everywhere else while it's highlight, so like my chin, my cupid's bow, on the tip of my nose, and then just the bridge of my nose where you know your glasses would normally sit and then obviously on the tops of my brows and I like an extra glow on the cheek. What I'll do is with the bottom of my beauty blender I'll just go in and just pat it down a little just so that the highlighter is not just sitting on top of the skin. 
there. So for my blusher, I'm going to go in with a super drug branded one. I think this is their B Beauty ones. And this is in the shade Bittersweet, which is like an orangey coral colour. And these are quite pigmented, so you just want to tap and then lightly apply to your skin. I don't want too much. See, I'm getting a bit too much there. So yeah, they're very, very pigmented, these. And then you just want to blend it out in circular motions. And I like to bring it up to the temple of my head as well. That's basically my skin makeup all done. So now I'm going to go into the eyes and this is actually a Kylie Jenner's inspired eye look where she does that pop of colour in the inner corner. So I'm just going to apply something in the crease of my eye. Just grab a brush. I want like a fluffy, not really a fluffy one. I'm going to pick up this, no not this one. Where's my little one? No, the one I want to use, I can't actually find. Oh, found it. So, this is the Morphe M433 brush. So it's very small and domed. And then I'm going to take my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Sidekick, which is like a reddish brown colour. And I'm going to apply this straight into the crease and really blend it out. And this will just help to give a bit of um, dimension to the eyelid rather than it looking flat. I'm just really buffing and blending this. So once you've got that down, I'm going to go in with just a pinch of this Makeup Forever shadow and this is the M600, so it's got a greyish brown tone in this one. I'm going to use the same brush again and just lightly apply that into the socket of the crease. And I'm also applying it a bit lower than the first shade. And then whatever's left on the brush can go onto the eyelid. Grabbed Morphe 513, which is a bit more fluffier, just to blend everything in. Now I'm just going to do my lower lash line and I'm going to use the Real Techniques crease brush and use that Real Techniques, not Real Techniques, that Makeup Forever colour. And go under there because I don't really like my lower lash line to look empty. So once you've done that, I'm just gonna tight line my upper lash line. I don't know whether to do eyeliner or not. I think I might because it's quite minimum there eye makeup I've got, so I'm just gonna do my eyeliner, mascara and everything, and then I'll come straight back. So mascara, eyeliner, everything's done. I've done a winged eye as well. So for that pop of colour, I'm not quite sure which colour to go in with. Um, but the brush that I'm going to use, I think will be this one, which is the Morphe E18, so it's like a round tip brush. And should we do the bright pink? So, in the James Charles palette, this is the shade Skip. Now, I don't know if there will have any fallout, but let's go into the inner corner. Oh my god. Do you, do, do, do you, do you see this? Like what? Pigment. I've got a little bit that's fallen on my nose. Hoping it won't stain. Let's actually wipe it off before anything happens. I'm just first going to apply the colour and then I'll blend it out. 
was the crease down here and then on the lower lash line. I look like I've been beating it. What I might do is add a little bit of my highlighter just to show the purpose of it. So I'm going to go with this little brush and this is Morphe M508. I'm going to use my So Hollywood highlighter. This is just to show it doesn't look like I've got pink eye when I have. Let's be honest. Okay, let's go back in with that brush again and dab over it. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Right, I'm gonna go with the shade Twilight from James's palette and apply that actually into the inner corner. That's a bit better, I'm gonna tell. I don't know. But anyways, we'll still go with everything else. I'm just gonna highlight under here with my So Hollywood highlighter. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> um, and then brows is Maybelline Brow Precise. I like to put a lot because I like my brows a little bushy and like sticking up a little. Like the wild brows. I don't know, I'm still thinking of building me up some highlighter on. I don't know, maybe I need to deepen up my crease. Might we'll do that. We'll go in with. 10% off from James's palette and deepen it up a bit. It might be that that I don't like about it so far. Wait, it's the first time I'm doing this, so trial and error and everything. Yeah, that looks a bit better. So for my lips, I want to try these new Essence products that I brought. So I've got a lip gloss, which is the Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade number 7, Happiness in a Bottle. So it's like a pinky nude. And then I got these Soft Contouring Lip Pencils. First one in 09 Going Steady and 03 Deeply Intoxicating. So this is Deeply Intoxicating. And this one is the other one so i might go in with deeply intoxicating as the other one might be a bit too close to the lip color they're quite creamy actually this is the first time i've ever worn these First special the lip gloss and lip liner, quite nice actually. So it was a bit of a process to try and get this look done because I didn't like it to begin with, especially when I put that pink on. But when I put more of a brown in the crease, um, I enjoyed it a little bit more. And then I got to use the new Essence lip products, which were quite nice actually. And I expected this to be quite sticky, but it's not doing anything, so that's really nice as well. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video, 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 then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. And hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.